Hey everyone, this is Jits Over 50 here. I just wanted to check in. I get a lot of questions in the comments. Not a lot, but once in a while somebody says, well, why do you always start sitting down? And, uh, you know, I don't always start sitting down. It's just for a lot of the videos I do, um, and a lot of the roles that I do in general, I start from that position because I don't want to be taken down and risk injury. And I don't want to have to wrestle some 25 year old to the mat to start using my jujitsu. So for me, I'd rather play guard, get the sweep, come up on top and uh, submit. So that's my game. There's plenty of jujitsu players that play this way. They uh, start sitting down. Uh, we've seen it with uh, that guy from Australia in uh, CJI. He made it to the finals. Um, he has an amazing Barambolo. And, uh, but yeah, I think he does it to an extreme. I think sometimes there are opportunities to wrestle up, which he, he didn't utilize. Like he just would never wrestle up no matter what. And so I disagree with that, but his guard is so amazing. So there's nothing for me to really criticize about him um, <clears throat> as far as injury uh, Jonathan just got his eye split open he had to get stitches in his left eye uh, he was uh, got an arm drag across the face from stand-up position um, George just broke his foot a guy dropped to his knee and his knee landed on George's foot so George was out for four weeks plus and believe me that break any break will bother you especially later in life it just gets worse. Uh, there's a few guys I forgot. I think it was Jeff Glover. He said, I wish that I didn't go so hard in training over the years so I can walk as a 41 year old or something to that extent. So we do this for longevity and we do this to self-improve and, and self-cultivate. Now, if you're going to compete at Abu Dhabi or something, then yeah, you should really kill yourself working takedowns. But outside of that, I mean, look at the injury rate just for people over 25 in an athletic sport. I mean, you look at college, top college guys, they're always injured, right? And they're still young. So as you get older, your body becomes more fragile. I'm 52, I wanna keep training. So I'm not putting takedowns down. I definitely no takedowns. Uh, would, I, would I say I'm uh, gonna compete with a wrestler? No, definitely not. But I know enough to take down the average Joe in the street. And I hear a lot about street confrontations and street fights that everyone's worried about. Well, I grew up in Brooklyn and we've had plenty of a uh, share of street fights. So um, I did stand up striking for many years before jujitsu. And uh, I actually consider myself more of a stand up striker anyway. So uh, for me, pulling guard, no, I'm not going to pull guard in a street fight. But if I was to trip or if, or if I was to get hit and now I'm down and he's coming at me, I think I'm going to have a lot of advantages from that position that I wouldn't have had if I didn't do jiu-jitsu um, or if I hit him and he goes down it's going to be really easy for me to take him down and control him so um, people say you have to train stand up you know I get it yeah if you've if you've never done anything in your life and now you're doing jiu-jitsu for self-defense then yes you definitely need uh, to learn your takedowns because you don't have anything else you don't have any other weapons but you should. And as a martial artist, you should be well-rounded. Round, you should be doing some boxing, some kickboxing. I think that's more valuable and safer to learn than uh, jiu-jitsu takedowns. Now, again, not to say that you shouldn't learn them, but if you're doing them on a resisting opponent and he throws you over his leg the wrong way or vice versa, somebody's getting their knee blown out. And I've seen that in class. Young Yusuf it happened to, I believe. Um, Super Mario. I mean, everyone's had these different injuries and they've come from stand up, you know, to take down. Um, once you take somebody down, you still have to pass their guard, usually. You know, it's not so easy to just take someone down and land and mount. I pretty much think that's close to impossible. But, so again, I just wanted to make this video addressing it in this beautiful place near my house, uh, out here in Staten Island, New York. This is one of the parks. So I'm gonna start doing a video series like this where uh, I go over a topic. If you have any questions that you want answered in this type of video, just leave them in the description and I'll make a list and I'll start addressing everybody's concerns. So, uh, you know, this comes from a lot of experience. You know, one time I remember I was wrestling with this brown belt and I took him down and he put his knee up and my chest landed on his knee and uh, my sternum hurt for five weeks. So I don't know what, what I hurt there, but it was a terrible injury. Um, I could go on and on. I should probably make a video just about my injuries, but none of them have been severe in the last six years. 
So I think it's a combination of obviously increased skill, which keeps us safe, but also the way I'm rolling, the relaxed way, the way that seeks the leverage and the framing and the technique rather than arm wrestling a 25 year old power lifter. But um, anyway, so I hope you like this new format. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, there's an X Marshall link in the description. If you buy anything on that site and you use Jits over 50, you get 15% off and it helps support the channel. Or you could just buy me a coffee. Again, thank you all for watching and uh, please like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you.